attention. The following video is totally going to kick ass. If you enjoy any of it and or have a large, please click the sub and like button down below. Enjoy. I love you, Chris. God damn it, Swagmaster, shut the fuck up. Being healthy. Or the win. Donic is my favorite. Jesus Christ, Swag, this is an intro. Hey guys, I'm back from vacation. And I, if you're wondering why I went, I went to Texas, Dallas to see the Sonic Expo 2023. It was really fun. I actually traveled by myself on my own. I, I bought um, a boarding pass for my own for the airplane and rented a hotel on my own. All, I did all these things on my own. It was a fun trip. I got to meet some online friends I've, I've been friends with uh, for a while now. And I, I got to see like fa uh, famous voice actors too. And then just look at my playlist of Sonic Expo 2023. Um, I will be, however, I didn't take pictures a lot of of everything, but I, I'm gonna borrow some people's videos uh, of what they have. So I'm gonna credit them down below. But anyways, yeah, I'm gonna make a discussion of my experience in the Sonic Expo of 2023. Make sure you watch, uh, make you <laughs> it's not a reaction video. Also, by the way, yeah, I know you guys been wondering, uh, wanting me to do an SMG4 reaction since last Saturday, but, you know, I just decided to take a break from SMG4 and enjoy myself in the Sonic Expo. And I also, um, I'll make a reaction video, but I won't make a reaction mashup, though. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this video. Subscribe to my channel down below, hit that like button, ring that bell notification. We're gonna get started. So, I arrived to Texas, Dallas, in the Hyatt Hotel. It's next to the airport, actually, so I took a shuttle there. As I got in, I unpacked my belongings and then I just decided to uh, explore. And I ran into one of the guitarists of from Crush 40 named Joshua. He's the guitarist. I don't know his last name, but I am the first person he's talked to in the hotel, and we talked it out. I'm like, "Nice to meet you, dude." And then, yeah, I um, he was happy to see me. And then later on, I decided to lay on. I let's see, I went exploring more, and then I told one of my uh, first fr uh, my friends from online. I've been friends for a while. Opti Sign Blitz. I arrived at the hotel and. He couldn't wait to see me the next day, and I was as I was exploring, I decided to eat dinner and ate a burger and fries, and then and I did. I, I'm, this was on Friday, and so I took I saw him, I, I did like my usual thing as I did like I explored around, and they were setting up the Sonic Expo downstairs at the sub level, sub level one. Then I then I went to react to SML in my room and um, the new SML, but to be honest, it was t it took a while to upload, so that's what made me not want to do an SMG4 reaction, and it was kind of weird doing it old my old school way of reacting videos, basically having two devices, one, one of which is my iPad I record from, and one is like another device like a MacBook to react it from where I'm watching, but Aside from that, the next day was the big day, and I got to see uh, when the expo started at 10:30. I, uh, me and uh, my friend Opti met for the first time in three after three years since COVID. We met online through a Minecraft server. We we had uh, Sonic the Hedgehog skins, and now three years later, we finally met in person. And I. And then we met up with another group of people, and this is where thing I, I got surprised. Like, I met um, Zara, and then Drained Hero, and then a uh, guy named Jeremy, and then I also met a guy who's also a YouTuber, but VTuber or VR Chat Tuber, whatever. But I met him in person. Like, I watch his videos all the time, his VR Chat videos. His name's Silver the Hedgehog. Or if you guys know him by Yoshizilla. Yeah, I actually met him in real life. And when I saw him, I was like, wait, 
you're that YouTuber. I'm like, and I got surprised. We we took a picture together, and I was just, uh, <coughs> it was a fun time. Also, P.S. I'm feeling sick after the trip, so yeah, uh, bear with me. I'm, I'll try to get this through as possible and without any coughs or sneezes. But yeah, I do sound different. But anyways, yeah, I. We went uh, when this expo. Uh, we I also made some new friends too. Uh, someone named Courtney or Sonic Collects. You can see in the pictures I'll provide. Um, uh, I'm gonna provide, but um, yeah, I befriended her and some other group of people as uh, we follow each other on Instagram, and then yeah, I had a great time with them, and then I just basically kind of kept on group jumping, but mostly hung out with the. With Opti and the VR chat, um, VR chat people. Speaking of VR chat people, I've met up with um, with Nexus and Blue Eyed Fury. Uh, there are two. Um, those two are dating, and they also um, they also uh, go on VR chat most of the time. And they uh, they they have uh, Nexus has his own map. He even made his own pin too, and he gave it to me. If you see right here, um, I can't put it close, but here's the pin of the of Nexus's um, a VR chat pin. But yeah, he made it for me, gave it to me. I was like, oh, thanks, dude. So I'm wearing it all the time on my new beanie. Yes, this is where I. This is when we went exploring around. There was the uh, the art room, the panel room with the comics. There are a lot of merches too. I'll go over that maybe later. Um, but I'm just right now saying my experience of the my Sonic Expo. But yeah, and then I there was also a game room too, which we all played in. Me and Opti. Uh, we basically played Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and then uh, we were just playing any character. But mostly we played Sonic because you know it's Sonic Day, and then. And then other than that, yeah, I got some cool merch. I might make a separate video on that, depending how I feel with this sickness. But yeah, I, I um, I had lots of fun. The one of the merch I can show you is this. I got this dark child beanie after Drained Hero showed it to me, and then I got a Sonic pin, a Sonic Expo pin, and I pinned it to my hat beanie. And yeah, this one has spikes, real spikes, like badass. It's like a Dark Chow or uh, something. Yeah, Team Dark Chow from Sonic Adventure 2. And then, what came next? We went into the, the guest room with all the famous voice actors. Unfortunately, I didn't get to see, like, or oh, talk to any other voice actors. The only ones I talked to were Ryan Capella. Uh, no, Pete Capella. Sorry, I'm thinking of someone else. Pete Capella, who voices Silver the Hedgehog. I even got a signature of uh of this uh, merch i bought from him um but and i also uh these are one of the figures that i got a shadow the hedgehog posable toy i could probably use this in a video too uh, there was shadow silver metal sonic tails and of course sonic so uh, in the package um i can show a picture but anyways yeah i met pete capella i even saw um silver the hedgehog uh, yoshi zilla <laughs> taking a video with him and then I, I, I believe they're like close friends with each other too. That's what Yoshi said to me. But, and then I met up with uh, Jason Griffith too, who voiced Sonic and Shadow back in the 2006 era mm -hmm. in Sonic X. And then, you know, up to until like before Sonic, uh, what was it? Sonic Colors? Yeah. But yeah, I, I, I have a video uh, I'll put um, with him. I. I also I obviously had to pay, but it was worth it though, because meeting up with Jason Griffith was a dream come true. He's a fan favorite to all. I mean, don't get me wrong, Roger Craig Smith is good, but not as good as um, Jason Griffith. But anyways, I also met up with Ryan Drummond, who coincidentally uh, is friends with my old high school teacher, and I was just like surprised. And it's a small world after all. Ryan Drummond was the one who voiced Sonic also, but in the Dreamcast era. I, yeah, and fun fact, Sonic Heroes was my first Sonic game ever because of GameCube and I was born around the time when GameCube was made. But anyways, yeah, I also went to a concert too regarding, I forgot what the, uh, what the three, um, 
Oh, frag. There were like three females, I think. I, I, the one was Surge, I think, and then the rest, I don't know, but they were a band of their own. And they sung some songs. The next part of the concert was Crush 40. Yes, Crush 40 was there. Johnny, Johnny G was there, and then the guitarist Joshua G. So I recorded a lot of clips. You can find it down below in the description. Like, wrap right down below. Make sure you read the description, guys. I'm warning you. <coughs> so, <laughs> excuse me. So, anyways, I recorded the Sonic, Hero Sonic Heroes, Live and Learn, and then all other songs from Crush 40. And if you guys want to see uh, down below. But I had a great time in the concert. I was with Opti, obviously, and then... I also, I also was with Jess, my other friend, and she and I were just like hanging out too. She wanted to meet me in person, so her brother took me, and and her friend, uh, uh, us, Ruby too. And so we hung out at the expo, and then I was basically, just, yeah, me and Jess would just hang out with Opti too. And she, he was honored to meet Jess. But anyways, back to the concert. We also. Um, we also had a fun time in the concert, yelling, screaming. I think this is, I don't know if this is why I got sick, just being around with all the people, but it was a fun experience. I also encountered the three Eggmans. There was like the movie Eggman, the modern Eggman, and classic Robotnik. They were all doing the pointy meme too. That was so funny. And then, yeah, I saw a lot of cosplayers also. Um. But like I said, I didn't take much pictures of them because... But I'm going to use like some people's medias and credit them in the description. Like I used their pictures. I also encountered many other YouTubers too. And, um, and then someone actually even actually found my channel too without me telling them. Because I recorded like, um, like there was a cosplay competition. So I decided to record it. Uh, and then I posted on YouTube and they they were all thankful for me that I recorded and posted on YouTube because one of them actually won the the um the competition it was a sage cosplayer but yeah I'm, I'm glad people are reaching out connecting with me now because I really love Sonic the Hedgehog after the concert Saturday was over I went to bed and then the next day it was the second day of the Sonic um, Expo we did the usual thing just exploring around and then I made some new friends too along the way and then and then like okay actually before the concert me and Opti we played uh, on his Nintendo Switch Super Smash Bros because there's a long ass line and then we we uh, he also showed me some fun games like uh, it was like this ninja dojo on his like um, 3DS and then he also showed me his uh, his Metopia, which involves Sonic, which that's really funny. I love and I watched him along the way and then eventually the lion died and we we actually went in the concert. But yeah, it was a fun experience tra um, of traveling by myself with uh, and me new friends finally. Honestly, I needed this vacation because a lot of my mind has happened and yeah this vacation really helped me like this mini vacation and i just like i need a vacation i never i haven't had a vacation for a while like since 2019 so this was a good year to go by myself and um rent a hotel on my own like i traveled on my own in an airplane holy crud but anyways yeah that was my experience of the sonic expo um but with, with that being said, um, it was at the end of the night too, at the last day of the Sonic Expo. They were doing closing ceremonies, and they all we all took a picture together. And um, I hope I hope I can find it on the Sonic Expo website. But if there is, I'm gonna show it right here. But yeah, that was uh, that was it. We all took group photos of me, Opti, and the others, Blue Eyed Fairy, Yoshi, and it. Yeah, and then after that, I. After that, I'm going. To, I just I went on the shuttle to towards the airport, and I said bye. I hope we do this again sometime because the next Sonic uh, event expo or uh, Comic Con, I'm going to be there, flying there, and make sure to take my days off. But that was a really fun experience I went through, especially with people I've known online for a while. We finally get to meet them in person. But yeah, I just yeah, and then I. 
<coughs> oh, excuse me. Ugh. And then so now I went the shuttle and said my farewells. And then I came back home. But then I had a lot of like I had like a lot of um footage I recorded I wanted to put on YouTube. So I that's why I haven't been doing any like SMG4 SML me canyon reactions. But I'm gonna I'm gonna continue that um after this because now I'm gonna I'm gonna like it's gonna be no um my normal routine of SMG4 reactions and SML reactions and etc. This was just a week and me unplugging from SMG4 and SML. But because this was a big event, I did not want to miss out. Like I don't care if people just beg for SMG4 reactions. I don't care if people beg for a reaction mashup. This was a this was my time. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the the uh, video and um, of me discussing my Sonic Expo experience. Um, I'm just I'm so glad I'm connected. Uh, I made new connections with some people like Sonic Collect, Speed Bolts. Someone named Violet. I, I don't know the full name. And then there's like, and then and then Yoshizilla, and he featured me in his video. So I'm gonna put the link description down below too. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the, the discussion video. I'll see y'all later in the next reaction video, SML or SMG4 or that Murder Drones preview. Who knows? But peace. Stay healthy for the win. And I gotta stay healthy for the win because I'm feeling ooh. Alright, see ya. Bye, everyone.